Today we are going to talk about committees of correspondence. Before we start, I'll remind you to set up your two column notes. So you're going to want to draw a t-chart like this on your page. At the top, you're going to write the title of today's lesson, which is Committees of Correspondence. And that is a really fancy word to spell, a couple of really fancy words to spell. The objective of our lesson is to understand the importance of the Committees of Correspondence in helping colonists organize against the British. Now, just as a reminder, the left side of your notes will be for key ideas, so just a few words or key terms that you think are the main idea of this lesson. And then on the right, you'll go back and write more explanation after the lesson is done. These can be pictures or graphs or words, whatever will help you remember. So to start, I just want to remind you that in the 1760s and 1770s, communication was super difficult. All these things we rely on today, like texting and email and Facebook and phones, even telegraphs, they were not available to communicate with other people. The only way people in the colonies could talk to other people that were far away was by letter. And the problem with that was you basically had to give it to a guy on a horse and say, hey, go give this to a person in Virginia. They live in a stone house on the corner by the chickens somewhere in Jamestown. And you had no guarantee that the guy wouldn't accidentally drop his bag in the river or get sick and die or get hungry or decide not to go or get lost. You just had to hope against hope that your letter would make it and a lot of the time it wouldn't. So long story short, the colonists were starting to get worried about the developing crisis in Britain. They were mad about the sugar and stamp acts. They were frustrated with increased costs and they were starting to realize that taxation without representation was really unfair. They really wanted to talk to each other about what was going on. So then comes along Sam Adams. He was a leader of the Patriot Group. It was a rebel group called the Sons of Liberty. They had this great idea for how the Patriots could communicate about their fears and wishes and talk about the developing crisis with Britain. And he established this thing called the Committees of Correspondence. So I just want to break down this term, the Committees of Correspondence, because it's a really big word. Committees basically mean groups. And correspondence, it basically means communication. So when I say the fancy word committees of correspondence, what I really mean is groups of communication or groups that talk to each other. So basically, the reason the committees of correspondence were so important is that these groups were set up in all the towns and cities of the colonies and groups met to talk about what was happening in their towns and the colonies and they talked about the British and what the British were doing and their growing desire to fight back. Each committee would write down that stuff and print it out um, and, or print it on a printing press and then the committees would talk to each other. So the reason they're so important is that basically they set up a system of government for the colonies even before they declared independence from Britain. So as the British were imposing all these unfair taxes and rules on the colonists, the colonists were organizing themselves into a new government and talking about how they wanted to run their own colonies and towns. And I just want to go over the importance of the Committees of Correspondence. They helped colonies organize communication about the British. Um, they basically set up a system of government even before independence was declared. And the colonies came uni became united for the first time. They really got to talk to each other and form a group as one. Now, before we end today, I have a couple of questions I want you to go back and make sure you can answer. Which Patriot leader started the Committees of Correspondence? It's in this, it's in this show. Um, why did Patriots create the Committees of Correspondence? Why was it so hard for colonists to communicate with each other? And what kinds of things did Committees of Correspondence share? Um, go back if you need to to answer those questions. That's what I want you to know when you come in tomorrow. And there's an extra credit video for you to uh, look at if you need any more information. Otherwise, you can rewatch the video for more information and fill in your notes. And we will go over a little more information when I see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.